it's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. Hi everybody, we're ready for our land and deep dive. And so let's start with landing on Cassie's question. So Cassie's question has been, what is happening in rap -a tap tap And I think we've answered that, but let's talk about that a little bit. What is happening? That's right, Bojangles is dancing. So Bojangles is dancing in a lot of different places and he makes a lot of different people happy. And I'm thinking about what helped us answer that question today. What did we do to answer Cassie's question? That's right, we did it. We acted it out. We practiced our tableaus. We did a moving tableau. We acted out our acting skills and showed what was happening in the book. And then we also did a little bit of a history research project and learned about the Great Depression so we could know more about what was happening. So I would say thumbs up. We know what's happening in the book Rap -a Tap Tap. If you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. If you are not sure, give me a thumb sideways. And if you don't know what's happening in the book, give me a thumbs down and then go back and watch all the videos to make sure you've got it because you should know what's happening in the book or at least sort of know what's happening now. Perfect. All right. So we did great. So now we're ready for our deep dive and we're going to learn about something called prepositions. And um, Cassie, I'm going to put you back here and I'm going to put your question board away. And that way I can have Penny sit down right here because we're going to learn something new today. It's called prepositions. What's that crafty? Oh yeah. Well, good question. So Crafty just asked me, what's a preposition? I'm going to tell you. That's why we're taking a deep dive into it. Oh, what's that, Penny? And Penny wants to know where her deep dive. You know what? Taking care of all these animals is busy. It's really busy. Where her deep dive hat is. I got it right here. Girl, I got you. I got my overalls on today again, so I can put all these things in my pockets. There we go. There's her cute little shark deep dive hat. Ready to go. Okay. Now we can talk about prepositions. So prepositions are words that tell us where something is. Um, so let's, let's just do some practice. Let's look on page three and four. I've got, I've got a practice one for us. This will help us. So page three and four, it says, he brought pleasure and joy to the people he'd greet. Rap a tap tap, think of that. How can I describe where the man is sitting? What could I say? That's true. One thing I could say, I, I, I heard you, Penny. You're yelling pretty loud from down there. So Penny said, we could say the man is sitting on the bench. And she's right because she used a preposition. I wonder what the preposition is she used. Anybody know? It's on. So if she had just said the man is sitting there, that wouldn't tell us where he's sitting. He's sitting on the bench. And so the words on the bench, that's a prepositional phrase. And on is a preposition. So I think on should go on our new preposition chart. So let's add that. Yeah, because things can be on something. And like right now, Penny is on this table. She's kind of on it. She was half off of it. There she goes. She's on the table. Now, what else could we look at? Oh, let's try this one. Let's try page 11 and 12. I've got a chart here for myself so we don't forget anything. It says that he danced through a place people called the skids. Rap a tap tap. Think of that. So if I was going to say where these people were standing, I could say they were standing outside because they're not inside a building, right? Outside is a preposition word. So we could add that up on our preposition chart. Let's try page 17 and 18. So this one has a bunch of people at the market and they are selling fish and selling things and what have you. And there's a man with a yellow hat and yellow rain boots and he is carrying something. He's carrying a basket and there's something going on with the basket. There's some fish. How could we describe where the fish are in this picture that he's carrying? That's right. You could say they're in the basket, right? The fish are in the basket. In is a preposition. Let's put it on our chart. There it goes. All right. One more deep dive page. Let's try page 19. He danced rain or shine in all kinds of weather. And there are a lot of umbrellas out guys. Look at all those umbrellas. Where are the people standing? 
in relationship to these umbrellas. That's right, they're under the umbrellas because guess what under is? It's a preposition word, so we're gonna add it to our chart. So prepositions tell exactly where something is. Is it in front of you? Is it behind you? Is it on something? Is it under something? Is it next to something? Those are all prepositions that we'll need to know to explain where things are in our lives. So what I'd like you guys to do today is kind of a fun little project. So you're gonna, number one, you're gonna get a cup. Okay, so you're gonna get any kind of cup. I don't really have a cup here. Oh, I have my cup of nothing. Let me grab that. You guys have seen that before in Zoom. So here's a cup. I got a cup, okay? And then you're gonna get yourself a, I got it down here in my little drawer. Hold on, oh, I got it, okay. You're gonna get yourself like a math block, okay? Math manipulative. And I want you to practice using your cup and your cube to show me where you could put the cube and say those prepositional words in your video. So, Miss Marty, I'm putting my cube in the cup. Miss Marty, the cube is next to the cup. Miss Marty, the cube is under the cup. Miss Marty, the cube is on the edge of the cup. Okay, so use some prepositional language, prepositional phrases and prepositional words and tell me about where in relationship to the cup you can put your cube. I can't wait to see your videos and see if you're understanding prepositions and how they work. Have an amazing day and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Say bye, Penny. Have a great day.